Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Varios. In today's video, I'm gonna show you six secrets of a high-end gown. Okay, so I do a lot of presentations, especially for fashion school students. And sometimes I have the honor of having a model, a live model, wearing one of my Nikolaiki gowns. So what I like to do is bring the model out close to the students and they come up close, close. And then all of a sudden I show them what's inside a gown and they all go, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. So I decided to, why not show you guys right here in my YouTube channel. So let's start with my first secret of a high-end gown, and that is horsehair. Before I get to explaining, let's just get this out of the way. Horsehair trim is not really made from a horse. It's not hair from a horse, let's just say. It's actually netting. It's horsehair braid trim, and it's actually tool, crinoline, netting, and it's made of nylon, all right? It's kind of like the petticoat trim, but it comes in long, long trim and different widths. So let's see, I've got some here to show you. Four inches, see, very wide. You can also have it like three inches and different color. Comes in black, white, all right? And this is about like two inches right here, okay? So let me show you what we use it for because this is my first secret, okay? I have to lift up the gown for this. Okay, check this out. We're going to the hem of this gown. This is my Nikolaiki Silk Satin Organza One Shoulder Gown, all right? So let me show you. Look at here. Oh, see, look at the hem. Look how beautiful. It's structured, nice. Now look, so I add this horse hair Hair trim, it's netting tool right here, and it's sewn onto the hem. It's hidden, it's a secret, all right? And what it does, it adds structure, shape to the hem. It stabilizes the sweep of the hem, all right? So it doesn't get all blah, okay? It just becomes all wonderful and beautiful. It really makes the gown look high end. Now usually this is inside, but recently I've seen a lot of this horsehair trim and braiding on the outside of the gown, all right? We see it a lot of it in pageant gowns. Now, personally, I like to keep it inside. That's why it's a shh secret. It's time for secret number two. Now, in this secret, I also have to go inside the gown. Now, first, look at the shape of this gown. It's a soft A-line flared ball gown shape, but it just doesn't happen by itself, darlings. It's all inside. So here's a secret of a high-end gown, because normally the cheaper ones don't have all that's going on inside. This one, honey, it's a little more expensive. So I added a whole tool petticoat underneath. Take a look at this. Now see, there's an inner skirt, if you can see right here, do you see that? An inner skirt, and I added very heavy, do you see this kind of tool? It's very heavy netting tool. Gathered it just below the hip, not from the top, because I wanna create that shape. So it's gathered, and you add two layers, long layers of that, and you sew it to a lining. It's kind of like the same principle of the old school petticoat and crinolines and weddings. It's kind of also a post, 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 post Marie Antoinette inner petticoat. All right, so do you see this? See the layers? All of this, what that does, it supports the shape of the gown. It helps to create that fabulous shape of your finished gown. Now here's another secret, part of this inner petticoat secret. Take a look at this. I also added horsehair, a wide braid, right in the middle of an inner petticoat lining. Again, it's to keep that shape all Perfect, okay, so all of this hidden inside. Then here's the last secret of this secret number two is something that my seamstress taught me and I'm giving you the secret. Always add a layer of lining on top of that tool, all right? Why? Because that tool is kind of rough and you don't want that sort of going up against the outer fabric. So what you do is you add a layer of satin lining on top of that tool and then you have your finished outer gown. So everything looks fabulous. So I turned my gown inside out to show you my secret number three, which is all about the inner 
corset, the built-in inner corset. Now, if you look at all very high-end gowns, if you go to the store, try to go to a very high-end store and kind of peek into what's inside. I always say the best part of the gown is what is going on inside, honey. And I always notice that the very, very high-end gowns, the ones that cost like $5,000, $10,000, always have a built-in corset. Oh, you wonder why? It's because the designer is telling you, don't wear anything else. Do not wear another bra, do not wear another corset. It's built in, we have it for you. So this is a sign of a high-end gown. Notice, here's the built-in corset. Now notice how plain it is. It's just princess seams right here, but it's very shaped. Now this masks what's on the outside, which was my draped one shoulder bodice, right? All draped and pleated, but it's not like that inside. It's a built-in corset that holds the shape. It's there to give structure and also helps the wearer when you put it on you sort of feel like oh I'm cinched honey that's what that corset is for so ladies when you see that do not even think about wearing a bra or another corset or another bustier it's in the gown that's a sign of a high-end gown secret number four involves something that is in the inner corset and that's boning what's boning well it's this stiffening right here that adds support. Now, of course, ladies, you know what it is because you see it in bras and bustiers. Well, we add that boning to this inner corset to add that support, to give you that, that feeling of security that you're cinched in. That's what the boning is for. You usually see it on the princess seams. That's where I have it. So if you feel it, it's right here. You also see it on the side seams as well. And then, of course, the center back. A lot of times you also see it right here. It's all there just to add a lot of support. Now, let me tell you a little history of boning. Original boning was made out of whale bone. Yeah, you heard that right. And then it didn't get much better because then it was like steel. Ooh, ouch, it wasn't pretty and it hurt. But now, thank goodness, boning is made out of nylon and polyester. And I have an example to show you what's inside, okay? This is it. Now, a lot of boning comes covered, like you see right here. This is like a felt cover, which is great. This is what I have inside, all right? This helps with the sewing. But let me show you what the boning looks like. Hello, that's what it is. And see, it's pliable soft okay it's not too stiff but it works and you sew this inside the corset and it's done and done and that's why i say it's like having your own built-in bra bustier so ladies no need to go shopping at victoria's secret it's already in the gown secret number five is interfacing and fusible and that's also part of the inner corset now you may ask what is interfacing? What is fusible? Interfacing is a layer of fabric that is hidden and it's usually in between the outer fabric and the lining. So it's like sandwiched. Think of it as like the ham and cheese inside. Okay, a sandwich, all right? But the sandwich is the gown? All right, get it. There you go. That is what interfacing is. Now, a lot of times it's fusible. So that means that it's ironed on and there's different types of fusible interfacing. What it does, it really shapes the fabric. It makes it stiffer, but not too stiff. Again, it's to add the support of that inner corset to really make it uh, strong. And I have some examples now. A lot of the high, high couture gowns, they use silk organza and they put that inside. It's hidden. Nobody knows that it's there, but if they use silk organza, it's very expensive, but nobody sees it. All right. So they use this. See silk organza. Now you can use that or the fusible that I was telling you about, which is this. This is what I use. This is interfacing that is fusible. So one side has glue and the other does not and you press it on to the fabric all right and that changes the fabric it makes it stiffer a little more structured let's say okay but there's also different types a lot of people normally use interfacing for tailoring for jackets for collars to make them stiff but you can also use them for high-end evening gowns here's another one right here all right this you can feel it okay softer cotton ones all of this gets sandwiched inside hidden but it creates that shape and again it's one of those secrets that goes into making a high-end gown okay now we're finally up to my secret number six of a high-end gown i'm gonna have to turn her around here we go now this is all about the hand sewn thread looped eye of the hook and eye 
right here. I'm pointing to it. Do you see that right there? You do that. That is the finishing touch. Now, you can use the metal hook. Do you see that? But don't use the metal eye. Have that sewn in. It's a thread loop and you sew it by hand. And why? Because you have to. It's kind of like that little stamp that says this is a five star gown. And actually, it's more secure. But it's just that little magic wand that tells you, the wearer, that you know what? You're important and this gown is high end. A little teeny tiny secret, but it's worth it. So there you go, those are my six secrets to a high end gown. And um, shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, go ahead, tell everyone. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Fashion School with Nick Varios. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And for more tips and tricks, and secrets, get my book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com.